this is a season and that you know there will be life during and after cancer hi guys welcome to the vlog this is still in December, so I guess it's Vlogmas. I had to get one more up before the end of the year. So here I am just waking up and getting my workout clothes on. This is my goal for the day, so I gotta start out with just getting the clothes on so that I'm motivated to go to the gym. I'm Marina Blackford. I'm a two-time breast cancer survivor, and I'm here to pay for all the tips for you cancer fighters and survivors on your journey. So welcome. Make sure you subscribe. I do two live videos a month that I really would love to see you guys on. So subscribe so you get the notifications for that. I also do one tip video and one vlog a month. So there's a variety here for you. I always start my day with drinking lots of water and I always use an aluminum free deodorant. I've always loved native, the coconut vanilla is my favorite. I'm just brushing my hair. Guys, this is two years after finishing cancer treatment, two and a half years after chemo. So I just want to give you a perspective of growth and where I'm at. I did Taxol and Carboplatin chemo this last time that I had triple negative breast cancer and here is my hair about two years before. I'm just packing another gym bag that I always keep in my car. It's all about making your goals accessible. Here's another goal that I practice some mornings and I keep a journal. I love this one, create the life you love. But the practice here is writing down goals, no matter how big or small, and I wanna rephrase that as dreams. What are your dreams, guys? Do you dream to go on an epic vacation? Do you dream to help others? Do you dream to get a dog? Whatever it is, write down five things every morning that you can think of and really start to concentrate on those things. This has worked to help me manifest stuff in my life. You know, just put it on my fanny pack for the day. I got this one as a Christmas gift from a friend and I love it. Do you guys recognize this bag at all? If you've been here a while and you need a video on chemo bags, check it out. This is the bag I used during chemo. I got it from Target and it was so useful. You're finding the elves. Oh, I'm excited. Let's go see. Are they? They're on? Last time they are in the bathroom. Let's go. <laughs> What's it right there? My three-year-old is still asleep, but I am just turning off my humidifier here. I highly recommend a humidifier for sleep, especially in dry environments like I am in Arizona and in the winter. It really helps your breathing so that you sleep better. This one I link in my Amazon store. You can find the link to that below by hitting the more button. I'm just showing you the three different settings that the light turns off while you sleep so you don't see that. Time to get dishes put away. Last night I cooked some really yummy food on these sheet pans. If you're looking to roast more vegetables, invest in good sheet pans and these are awesome. I made sweet potato tacos for dinner. It was a bunch of sweet potato, some organic black beans and corn and it was tasty. In case you guys are new here, I am a triple negative breast cancer survivor twice, which means I did chemo each time I had cancer. I am also BRCA1 positive, which is a genetic mutation that puts me at high risk for breast cancer and ovarian. So you can follow my journey here by clicking many of my videos, including chemo videos, radiation, surgery, and vlogs. Make sure you subscribe. I do two live videos a month and I don't want you guys to miss that. That's where you can come and be part of this community, ask your questions, and share your answers for others. You sneaky girl. Thank you. This was a typical school morning, so you're seeing all the makings of family in the morning, chores, breakfast, and getting everybody going. You got there, baby. Oh, my AG1. It's the good stuff.
Good morning, it's vlog day. Hi guys, I'm Marina Blackford. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss a thing. I am a two-time breast cancer survivor and my channel is here to pay forward all the tips to you on your cancer journey. So welcome. In today's video, you're going to see my survivor vlog, a day in the life, things that I do. There's little tidbits along the way that I think will help you. So I'm going to start out with what I'm eating this morning. I'm breaking my fast, right? It's 7:45, and I'm having overnight oats, oats that you soak overnight and have. This has some protein in it and some flaxseed as well. It's really yummy, easy to do the night before. I put almond milk in it and then it's ready to go in the morning. Here you'll see how some of my morning goes. It's different every day depending on our schedules. I work part-time as a dental hygienist and then I'm home with our kids. I also YouTube, I also cancer coach. So I just wear a lot of hats right now. But the focus this morning is getting the kids ready for school and then we'll get going with the rest of the day. Netflix falling down off the snow. This catch is not like on your tongue. Then eat it. Yum. I just taste the greenish. What? Mom, I told you. It stands, it stands right here. But I love a little bit of trim. Boop. <laughs> All right, we're all done. How's it look? I debated sharing this with you guys or not, but I'm like, hey, it's a vlog, why not? <laughs> um, anyways, I have this infected uh, cuticle, like fingernail infection that started like a couple days ago and it got so painful on Sunday. Monday I woke up that way and I went to the, like one of those quick little, you know, minute clinics and um and got an antibiotic because it's so red in my finger you guys see that ouch ouch it's only shiny because i've been putting an antibiotic cream ointment on it um, i've had infections before it's always important to deal with infections um, unfortunately i had a staph infection after having a lumpectomy on my breast reconstruction um, right at the edge of a nipple because we did nipple spearing so i've had to go through very <clears throat> not fun stuff before um iv antibiotic i mean multiple surgeries it was crazy so if something's red or inflamed in your body get it taken care of and um, i'm not sure how this will end up <laughs> this will end up with me losing a finger no um but i went and got taken care of and so i've been prescribed amoxicillin so i've been eating some of my oats so now i feel like i have enough some food in me so i can take this antibiotics can be hard on the stomach so it's ideal to take them with some food lots of water when you take any vitamins or vitamin supplements or medication lots of water and i did buy some kombucha yesterday to offset the bacteria in my gut you know so i'm not going to drink that with this right i'm going to take this let it do its thing and probably have some kombucha with the lunch just to help restore some probiotic in my belly so i got to take this and i hope it helps in case you're wondering i do not go to a nail salon and i probably wouldn't recommend you really go to one during chemo by the way because of the risk of infection i do my own nails these are nail stickers and they're so fun um i just get really really dry cuticles in the winter so i feel like um that and then just do i do a lot of dishes i have no idea no idea how this could happen to my finger um but i'm just gonna keep an eye on this and might even need to go see my dermatologist but it is it is so hard to get into a dermatologist does anybody else feel that way i feel like i call a dermatologist and they're like great we'll see you in two to three months maybe it's an arizona thing i don't know but anyways Yeah, I'm just 
making it a little bit easy today, technically. Um, but I went to the chiropractor. Do you guys go to the chiropractor? Um, I haven't been in years, but I needed it recently for a neck strain, and I'm glad I did. I talked to you about that release. Anyways, follow up today, a little bit of popping, some more of that electrolysis or TENS unit. It just really reminds me of physical therapy. And then some exercises that I need to do on my own for my neck. He wants me to do like chicken neck and shoulders down and back and like strengthening that especially for when I work as a hygienist so remember your self-care if there's a physical therapist or a chiropractor or occupational therapy that can help you especially on your cancer journey especially if you're having surgeries lumpectomy uh, mastectomy double you should absolutely be having PT or something like that to help you so I'm at the grocery store I can show you a grocery haul it's a very typical day and um and then i'll be off to the next thing back home earrings on i feel like whenever i don't whenever i don't feel put together i just put on some dangling earring guys dangling earrings and i feel empowered aren't these beautiful they have like a leaf in them so cute um all right so i'm unloading all my groceries this is just honest pure grocery haul but it's not my main food. My main food I have for dinner, I buy meal kit deliveries and it varies between chicken, seafood. I had a sweet potato um, taco last night that was so good. Sweet potato, black bean and corn tacos with a side of cabbage and carrot slaw and that I have leftovers. So that is what I do for my main food. And yeah, I mean, when you think about it, guys, I I know our um, access to food, how much does it cost? I mean, it can be different for all of us. But it's the one thing that I think it's really, really important that if you really look at what can you either have more whole foods, right? Fruits, vegetable, whole grain. Or what can you make from scratch? What has less ingredients? Those swaps are going to benefit your health greater than the amount they cost. I really, really feel that way. I mean, you can buy frozen organic vegetables, you know, and that's cheaper than fresh and often stays good. So how I'm showing you here is, is just a snippet of what I do. Anyways, I'll show you. Maybe you can get something neat out of it. Um, my kids love this organic mac and cheese. So yes, we eat stuff like that. If I want a sweet treat, you guys have maybe seen me mention this, an Olipop, it's not really a soda. It's a soda with, um, what's the word? Prebiotics, botanicals, plant fiber, and it's stevia for the sweetener, and it's three grams of added sugar in total, 35 calories for a strawberry vanilla. Um, I had a coupon to get two of these. I, it's the holiday, so cream soda felt festive. And I literally will have one of those a week as my treat same if i ever get starbucks it's a treat it's not an everyday you can't you should not be affording starbucks or soda every day if you could be swapping it for healthier healthier stuff here is just whole foods again right bananas organic raspberries we love um baby carrots in this house these were on sale right um little persian cucumbers these are great for dipping in hummus my daughter does love Lemonade, so I buy an organic brand. My kids have organic star pasta soup. You know, this is a lot of mom life here. Um, you know, if I'm also going to snack, I love this brand, Late July Organic um, Tortilla Chips. And this is chia and quinoa in it. Um, so those are some options of how you can take something like a tortilla chip and swap it to make it just a little bit better for you. I'm in a hurry to get to the next appointment, so I'm gonna eat lunch quickly. Lunch today is just leftovers. It's chicken with some turmeric rice and garlic, and I'm gonna put a garlic sauce on it, and that's lunch. Mediterranean leftovers. Can you guys see me okay? Um, if you guys have watched any of my vlogs, like probably 90% of my vlogs, I'm going to a brow appointment, which is pretty funny, but um, it just, I go once a month, I get my eyebrows tinted so they like dye them and waxed and I just like I'm obsessed with it because I've lost my brows a couple times from chemo and I love getting them groomed so I just did that I also have them permanently um, tattooed like a powder brow so they're always they always look like it's filled in with makeup and I just love it so I, I want to just talk about this though because I um, was talking to someone 
recently um, and they're going through their cancer journey and they're at the point of losing their eyebrows, right? They started with Taxol, they're now on the A&C chemo and here go the eyebrows, right? And the eyelashes and it's like a whole nother um, thing to process every time you lose the hair and then now the eyebrows and I remember that, I remember it so clearly. So although this seems like vain or silly to mention that, hey, I get my eyebrows done, it's more than that. It's it's how we feel about ourselves. It's how we look. And so anyways, I was hoping to give this person hope. And I know that I can give her hope because look at me, here I am with these eyebrows back. And, um, you know, I just had to be really good at learning to do my makeup. I did my best. I used a brow pencil. There are stencils available. Everything's linked on my Amazon store if you want to check out some of the things I liked. But um, it's more than just hair, guys, and it's more than just eyebrows. I can tell you, uh, you know, with time after chemo, it will grow back. It will. Um, believe it. Love on yourself. Um, but just you know that this season know it's a season and if you're at that point where you've lost your eyebrows or your eyelashes I feel you it's frustrating it's something you have to process kind of like grieving um, but just don't stay there right um, I would also say this I, I felt like whenever I complained about that stuff to other people nobody seemed to notice nobody seemed to be like oh yeah you know like I got very little sympathy for the eyebrows like so many women are like oh I fill mine in too it was like okay so it's for you to process and then for you to know that like nobody's like you are you whether you have eyebrows or eyelashes or not so hold on to that know that and just exude that when you are t talking to people whether it's your friends your coworkers, your family um I mean, if you want to acknowledge it, go ahead and get it out there. But I, I promise you that this is a season and that, you know, there will be life during and after cancer. And you will get there. You will get it's there. That's a wrap, guys. I have to go get my son at the bus. And that is just a day of momisms, appointments, food shopping. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye, Grandma. <laughs> I did the cut again. Say bye-bye, YouTube. Bye-bye, YouTube. There you go.